Well, last week we got the fellows to the point that we can begin assembling them onto the spokes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I think it's pretty clear as you follow through. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because we've got a lot to cover and we're going to end up with setting the tires on these wheels. So once I have the fellows on, I'm going to square it up to my belt sander, also have it centered on my stand, and I'm going to make sure that these wheels are round.
So now I can begin to size the tires to the wheels. And I'm going to do this by measuring just the wood and I'll jump across any spaces that might be between the fellows at the joints. The back tires for these wheels, just the tires alone, are at about 450 pounds and are 1 inch thick, 8 inches wide. So now is when I can go ahead and insert these 1 8 inch pipe fittings with a grease fitting permanently into the hubs.
And before we set the tires, I give them a good coat of my linseed oil mix.
Well, all in all, things went pretty well. We started at 10 o'clock in the morning, and by noon we were done. We also started with the sun shining, and ended up with cloudy and overcast, and it was just about starting to snow. Bobby Tanner from Bishop, California, who owns the mules that'll pull these wagons, he came up to help. Dan Nemichek, you've seen him work with me in past videos here in the shop. Jim Bluer from Livingston, and my son Nate and his two children, Avery and Jack, also came over to lend a hand. And also Mark Smith, 
who restores antique furniture also helped. And a special thanks to my brother-in-law, Rick Bischoff, who was kind enough to run the camera while we set these tires. All in all, we had a good day. Next, we're going to go ahead and put these on the axles and start assembling the gears. Once again, thanks for watching.